Alright. Um, okay, the Diesa... Not the Diesa Plateau. The Shiver Peaks are this way. With all the Wolfborn. And I don't know... Holborak, yeah. It's... Visually, it's one of my favorite cities. But at the same time, it's... Sort of dull. It, it's a contradiction. Really? <laughs> dull, but it's your favorite. I mean, well, that just sounds like a definition of everything. <laughs> well... <laughs> I, I just like the snowy areas, you know? The, no, I don't like snow. Well, I like snow in real life, but not like snowy oh. areas in games. Uh, you, you just hate the snow and ice physics, huh? Uh, this way for another waypoint. No, it's just the lack of it, mainly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I get you. Some... I like snow things <clears throat> when, like, the snow reacts. And... Yeah. When you actually feel, like, the bit of the slippery flooring from, uh, the snow and ice. I get you. Like you walk a little slower in. I, I suppose like Breath of the Wild's got better snow than this game. Yeah. You well, just run on a switch for crying out. Well, they didn't add snow physics, snow and ice physics because this is this is an MMO, not a platformer. So I yeah, yeah I, don't care. I get the feeling. It's a difference though. Like, yeah. If you add snow and ice physics, it means that any raid you do in the snowy region, you have to be prepared for. Yep. That would have made it more fun. Yeah, definitely. And here's the vista right here. You just gotta time your jump. I think I could have landed anywhere and it would have worked. Yeah. Okay, I don't have that daily. Damn. Yeah, I'm just stood here like a pillar. I think I'm downloading the vista thing. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> It'll eventually click through it. There we go. I think it's done it now. Close it. There we go. 33% on my daily mm. completionist. We can't do Kryta. Can we do Diesa Plateau? I believe so. Uh, Diesa Plateau. Alright, that's Brisbane Wildlands. Uh, Kessex Hills, Queendale. Oh, wait! Oh! Okay, that's not the map that I was expect- that I remembered it being. Click the thing- click the off-white thing that I just put in chat and- Alright, give me a second. Hold on. I got Thimble of Liquid Karma. Consume that. I've got a writ of experience. Cons uh, you need to save those up to make a book of experience, which will give oh, you... Oh, I don't Wait, do they actually give you XP? I don't know. Maybe. I wasn't paying attention. Ah, grant a small... Oh, okay. I apparently don't need to save those then. Yeah, I see Memorial Quadrant. Should we TP there? Yeah, um... To see a gate waypoint. It's just a little way in front of you. Yep. Oh. Oh, you don't have this waypoint. Okay. Where am I going now? Right over this way. You say right over this way. Give me some sort of... Uh, where I am. You're not on my mini map. Oh, hello. <laughs> Sorry, I wasn't looking that way. <laughs> you weren't on the mini map because you're underneath the bloody waypoint logo. <laughs> it, it's hard to see, alright? Yeah. You have to remember in mind I'm a complete arsehole at the same time. <laughs> oh, I've got to love that dog running around. Oh, that's a... Uh, like on my screen, it was just like stuck in a stick figure. Yeah, that's just a freaking jackal. It... It has the habit of looking a little glitched because the way that people use it. And this is the entrance to Desia Plateau. Cool. And... Let's do events here. Yeah. Eight hero points. Brilliant. Yep. Sad... It's... I think it starts off at level 15. So yep. we should kill some shit. Yep. Whoa, that was a bit of lag. I'll talk to this cunt and then immediately close the map. <laughs> Hi. 
Okay, there's an event chain that usually happens around here, so we shouldn't have to... Oh! Commander tag! That means there's an event going on over there. You see the purple Dorito? What? No. Uh, north. I was a little busy killing a mower. Oh. <laughs> Just north of us, there's. Uh, there's a there's a purple blob. Yeah, but the oh damn it! Okay, he just left apparently. Um, basically, if you see an one of those icons, no no matter what color it is, there's something happening on the map there. I think there's. Purple, blue, red, orange, yellow, and white commander tags. But, yeah. Basically, if you see it, those tags, just head over there. Get an egg, guys. I'll have an egg. What are they on about? I have no idea. Eggs. It, it's been a while since I've been in this map. Okay, just have to figure out where the vent's going on. There's a waypoint just northwest of us, slightly. Yeah, I'm just gonna mine this tree. Alright. Because even though I can't mine trees in Kryta, although theoretically I should be able to. Well, Kryta is in the middle of the map, which is level 25 to 35, and... Yeah, but the uh, point is I just have to mine trees. I don't have to survive. Yeah, true. So do you think maybe I could get away with going to just mine trees in the middle of the map? Well, if you can survive to get to them, but yeah, seeing as how the mobs will I likely mean, one or two hit you. Away, right? Well, some of the mobs are... In that map are ranged. Most of them in the central area. I think I could get to maybe a couple of trees. Yeah. So you might have noticed I'm running towards uh, completely nothing near you. Yeah. Oh, this is actually near that uh, one thing that I told you. You might actually. You you might either. Appreciate the pun, or you'd hate it. Um, probably both. <laughs> okay, so we find him. Oh, giant worm! Let's kill it. You got it. Okay. I f yeah, I think it's just. A little southeast of us. This cow died at the same time. Yeah. We can revive them if they have a little weird icon over them. Does it go twice as fast if two of us do it? Yep. It Does that mean, like, in raids and shit, you want to have more people reviving? Yeah. Well... Depends, because unlike World v. World raids, you can't revive people at all if you're in combat. Uh, oh, yeah, there's a skill point over here. Yeah, I think that this area, this walled off area. Champion Giant, let's kill it. That's an event. Where's the door? Oh, just push F next to the door. It, there we oh, go. Okay. I was trying to break it. Oh, that's a statue. 
champion jot's a little dead. Yeah, it's got a lot of health though. Just try and get to it. If you hit it even once, you'll get credit for anything. Wow. Yep. And it KO'd me the... Cool. It KO'd me the moment I... Uh, the, the moment the event ended. <laughs> oh, killed you. Yep. Knocked me down. It's not that strong. Well, remember, uh, we're both level 16 and I'm the glass cannon. You're actually the tanky class. I still don't get how this is a tanky. I got well, the guild panel. Cool. Well, Necromancer has the second highest health pool of all the classes in the game. And it has two health pools at that. So. Bill, buy an upgrade from the guild notary. Oh. How do I do that? You. Uh, you're gonna have to go to the Lion's Arch and go into the guild area for that, but I wouldn't bother with it. If you're not gonna do that much with the guild, and you, well, like I said, I'm gonna try and fill the guild. Yeah, it's a good bit of gold, though. There's a vista right here. Cheap little bastard. What? He just. Uh, I think the uh, way over is this way. The guy just jumps up. Just uses the freaking springer to jump up. Yeah, we actually have to do a bit of jumping to get to it. I'm helping. Hmm, I'm thinking I might just switch back to Signet of Malice. My heal skill, it heals me every time I hit something. Uh. Oh, you actually got up there. Alrighty then. Yeah. I was up there whilst fighting it. Ah. Alright, so. It should be. East of us. I gotta do three more events here. Alrighty. Well, find them. East of us is another uh, vista, so. Pardon? East of us is, is another vista, so we can actually just go to get that, and hopefully the event for it will be up too. Oh, that is a lot of crafting items. Where? Oh, just from what I got from the drops. Cool. I'm stuck being a chef. All right. Is that useful in any way? Well, you can make you can make uh, consumable items, which boost stats. Those Where are. Do all... things? Where do I check these things? Uh, push H. Uh, crafting. go to, yeah, crafting the hammer icon. I went to the hammer icon and it doesn't say a lot that helps me. Yeah, it just... It says I'm a novice chef and an artist for... an artist... A, uh, yeah, stickman. Yeah, you actually have to level them up to get uh, crafting recipes. Yeah, I know. Is it worth me being a bloody chef? Yeah, uh, I would say every crafting profession has... A worth something worth it that you can make. Just depends on how much uh, effort you want to put into it. Uh, 
Well, the point is, I meant what's good for my class. For your class, I would say artificer, jeweler, and uh, tailor. Well, I can only be two. Yeah. That was really helpful. Artificer for your staff, scepter, and focus. Tailor because your armor class. Um, jeweler is good for any class, really. Because that's your accessories. Personally, I'll just wait until later to s to get w to get those going. Well, I'm stuck in two, so yeah. Oh, this is level twenty-two area. This just might... give me a sec. I'm chopping a tree down. Are you even getting anything usable out of that? We're in log. Yeah, that's pointless. I get XP for hitting it. Yeah. Better than nothing. Yeah. Okay, there's a jumping puzzle right there. Level up, sweet. Power, tough to precision. Oh, and I have level six, um, level seventeen uh, armor for you. I think this. I think this way. I'm trying to remember where it is. Well, what is? The rather unique vista. There's a. There's a waypoint right here. I freaking love how I can just become untargetable. I don't think it matters if I'm targetable or not, because things just don't damage me. Yeah. Oh, I hate raptors. Why? Because of that stun. Yeah, it doesn't stun my enemy uh, friends, though. Yeah, lucky you. But for a class that doesn't have minions or... Okay, yeah, I think where we just were is where we actually need to be. Because that's the vista right there. Uh, yeah, with the Warhorn. But later in the game, you'll find out why I hate the raptors. So they become... <sighs> They, they become one of the most annoying... Yeah, like, the second or third most annoying enemy in the game. I'm full on life essence, by the way. Sweet. You can just, uh, use it in, yeah, Death Shroud form. A lot of people have been complaining that they butchered Death Shroud form, but honestly, I don't see it. It's still a second X. It's still a second HP bar. Why well, complain? Because they work differently, I suppose, yeah. ability-wise. They they say that they've been saying that they butchered the um, the uh, amount of time you can spend in it. Mm. Yeah, this kid's annoying. Another little, another little is there, and this one's a ranger. Oh, damn it! Making me use my initiative to not hit the bull.
Why do I keep getting skills that make me invisible? Damn! Make something useful! What the? <laughs> Did we? <laughs> I think that was a glitch because I instantly triggered uh, the fight again before it had healed. Okay. Okay. Wow. Yeah, that's where we well, need to go. I've got five things, so I think it worked. Cool. Um, okay, you see in the distance that big old pillar? Oh, running towards? Yeah, that's where the vista is. And the cows, we actually have to follow them to get to up there. Why? There's an event that happens with these cows. Making less sense. It's... It's an... It's a stupid pun that they're working on here. Separate style. Okay, we can just Whoops. go do this event. There's an event starting up. Yeah, let's let's just kill some separatists. How's your chat going? Because mine's dead to the Nadorna. Mine's dead too. <laughs> hey, at least we're trying. Okay, kill these guys. They just melted. Kill these guys. You know, it might actually be harder to defend from them if they weren't so predictable. I stopped one of my worms at one of the gates. Alrighty. I sort of hope we don't miss that uh, cow event, but hey, if we do, whatever. My fucking worm doing shit. Yeah, it's spitting at them. There we go. That's one more event down. Okay, now let's meet back up with the cows. Ooh, chocolate. Okay, yeah, I think... That, yeah, this is where it is. Let's get this over with. What are the cows doing? Um, he's launching them. <laughs> Why? Because it's a cow to pull. Yeah, like I said, the horrible pun. I think I clicked get inside. <laughs> yep, and now there's an event going on here. Well, Is that my fault? <coughs> I don't know. I don't think so. It's just the cows are here. The harpies are angry. So let's kill these things and then just launch ourselves at the vista. Yeah, I'm kind of at the vista already. <laughs> I left. Uh, I'll run back over. There's a hero point right in front of it. Yep. What are we doing? Uh, killing the harpies. <laughs> These poor cows.
We should be getting a good amount of XP from this, because the enemies are a higher level than us. And one more cow goes to the moon. <laughs> yeah, the char just total jackasses when it comes to their food. <laughs> Well, they have their own ranches and everything. They even have uh, their own version of Oktoberfest. So. Right. Back in Guild Wars 1, they considered humans to be food. And their gods were. monsters that were just. spawned to destroy things. Uh, Bloodstone Crazed Beast, where is it? That wow, that's all the way over there, yet yeah, let's not even bother with it. By the time we run all that way, it'll just already be dead, so... Where is it? All the way on the other side of the map. I think it's a level 80 event, too. Blood uh, Bloodstone Crazed Monsters are from... Uh, it, no, it's from a, one of the living story chapters, which are all level 80. So I will admit, some of the living story chapters were freaking awesome. Um... Basically, the Bloodstone crazed things. The Bloodstone was basically a big soul sucking stone like battery. And some idiots decided to turn it into a nuclear bomb and blow it up. Right. Yeah. So, some places are feeling that Newton, the. Basically, nuclear fallout. And interact with this. You're inside me. Alright. Getting this vista. And then jumping down. Yeah, this is one of the more unique characters. <laughs> Mostly because of the singing. Yeah, I know this. He reminded me kind of Cicero, so I just mm. kind of murdered him. <laughs> and meat puns. Alright, we can head north to get the... I should lower the volume. Does that count as event succeeding if I do this event three times? I don't think so. But 75% we've... Oh, we've done three though, haven't we? Yeah. Ooh, hunk of meat. <laughs> I have no clue what it's for though. <laughs> I just nicked it. I'm running yep. with it. I wonder if we can actually make it. Let's head over there. Over where? Oh, I got exploded by a mine? Uh, there are catapults here controlled by enemy ghosts. Right, because that makes sense. Well, lore-wise it does, but 
Yeah, just out of the blue, it doesn't. Guild Wars 1, Charwar winning the war against the humans. The king decides curse all the humans in his land to be immortal ghosts to guard his uh, kingdom. That's a great king rap there, ain't it? Yeah. Sorry, I'm not really... Tired? I'm the part of drunk where I just can't word. Ah. Uh. Almost there. Right, let's just cut through here. You get stuck? No, 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 no. I was just reviving some dude. Ah. Okay, the commander is still here. That means the boss is still alive. Or did it glitch? Oh! No, it's dead. Shit. The event's just lagging. That's disappointing. Oh, well, there's a waypoint right here. What's this blob? Blob? Yeah. We have to contribute eggs. Oh, um, the cave right here. Uh, behind you. Ah, be right back one second.